Okay, this is spotlight problem number 12.3, and it features the use of the dot product in order to find a vector perpendicular to two existing vectors. So here's the setup. We first have vector x, and its components are 1, 1, 0. And then we have vector y, and its components are 2, 4, 2. And the question is uh, to find a vector that is a unit vector and is perpendicular to both of these vectors. So I need to just make up a vector to be that third vector. So I'm going to call it U temporarily, and it's going to have components A, B, C, and we'll solve for those. Now, it turns out there's going to be lots and lots and lots of solutions to this, uh, not just one, but this will be one. And, and if you follow uh, these directions, you'll get the same one. Uh, but you could certainly find other vectors that are also uh, meeting these conditions. Okay, well the first thing to do then is to set up a system of equations by using the dot product. We know that the dot product between any two vectors tells me the degree to which they point in the same direction, and so if the dot product is zero, they don't point at all in the same direction, which means they're perpendicular to each other. So setting the dot product equal to zero is a good test for perpendicularity. That's what we're gonna use here. So first, we're gonna take uh, u dot x, and we're gonna set that equal to zero. And what is u dot x? Well, it's one times a plus one times b plus zero times c, and that equals zero. So that gives me the first equation, which is a plus b equals zero. Now I wanna do the same thing by taking u dot y. And of course, I'll set that equal to zero. U dot y then is 2a plus 4b plus 2c equals zero. And this is where getting multiple solutions comes in order. I only need to solve this system, but I don't necessarily care about the coefficients. So I'm going to take this 2, 4, 2 and make it a 1, 2, 1. So a plus 2b plus c is equal to zero. And then to that, I'll put the second equation, a plus b is equal to zero. Well, literally any combination of a, b, and c that solves this will produce not only a vector that's perpendicular to x and y, but uh, then I'll, I'll show you how we do the next part, which is to make it a unit vector. But uh, you can see it's a system of three variables, but only two equations. So there is no exact solution to this. This will have multiple solutions, and I need to find just one of them. So the first thing I'll do is use Gaussian elimination to subtract the second equation from the first. So if we take the first equation and subtract the second, we're going to get b plus c is equal to zero. Well, literally any combination of b and c adding up to zero will form the two components of a vector whose third, as long as it fits in this system, will solve uh, our problem of finding a perpendicular vector. So I'm just going to assume that b is equal to one and c is equal to negative one. That way they add to zero, and if b is equal to one and c is equal to negative one, and we look here to the first equation, a plus b was equal to zero, that tells me that a also has to be negative one. Now, this uh, set of components satisfies both of the dot products being zero, which means the vector u, which now comprises of negative one, one, and negative one, is absolutely perpendicular to both of these. And you can check it if you want, but because it solved this system, it absolutely derived from the two dot products. So if I take this dotted with this, I'll get zero, and this dotted with this, I'll get zero. There's only one problem which doesn't make this the solution to the problem, and that is the magnitude of this vector is not one. And we were asked to find a unit vector. Remember, a unit vector not only points in a particular direction, in this case, having these direction numbers, but it also has to have a magnitude of one. So let's check the magnitude of u. So the magnitude of u is going to be equal to 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 squared, which is 1, plus 1 squared, which is 1. So that's 3. And of course, it's the square root of the sum of the three components. So the magnitude of u is radical 3. So if I divide u by the magnitude of u, I'll have u divided by the magnitude of u. And that will be our unit vector, which I can call v and that will be negative one over radical three. Second component is one over radical three, and third component again is negative one over radical three, and that absolutely positively will be a vector that is perpendicular to both and has a magnitude of one. So there it is.